you're so stinky. You're so smelly. You're my smelly boy. My smelly boy who eats all my chicken when I don't want him to. You're a chicken thief too at that. How's it going everybody? My name is Nestaku. We are on what part six now? Oh, sorry. I don't know if you heard that. I am so sorry. I have my cat on my lap <laughs> and he's here. I don't know if you can hear him purring or anything. Hopefully he doesn't disrupt this too much, but we are on part six of Herculeporoi and um, there's a 13th murderer. <laughs> I was not expecting that at all, but we still have 13 chapters. So one chapter per murder or per murder -er. So uh, let's just get into it. The train's actually moving. December 18th, 2023, 9 a.m. What are we gonna figure out? Also, I'm putting my guesses in right now. I think it's Please, Jean. Please, come in. Ah, book. I see we are moving at last. Yes. The way was finally cleared while we slept. If all goes well, we will arrive in Venice this evening. The train will be there for several hours for refueling and reprovisioning. What do we do with the 13th murderer? Do you have a lead? I thought about it. There is one clue that was left aside in my investigation. The diary I found in Ratchet's safe mentioned an appointment in Venice. Someone with the initials A.W. He will never keep the appointment, but there should be enough time. I must try to keep that appointment for him. Oh, so we're we actually gonna go have an appointment. When and where is this meeting with Ratchet? Oh, how does this tie into it all? Okay, so we're on the 18th. This, right? Fontana Deli Conigli. Fontana di Conigli? Ah, uh, here. We're in Venice. Obviously, we're going to Venice on the 18th. And then time? What would the time be? Can I back that up? At 1? Would it be at 1? Oh, I actually just scared him. Would it be... No. 3 p.m.? I'm confused. Is it 3? Think, no, that is it 11? Good... This is wrong. Is it 10? I never found... What? Oh, Maybe at the bottom it says, says it. Oh, I saw. Let me down. Okay. Talk to Dr. Constantine. Ooh. I guess to find out about what's gonna happen now. Okay. Where is the doctor? Is he next door? Is he I with the body? we should let Ratchet rest in peace. <laughs> yeah, I guess How so. How would it look to the police if I asked a suspected murderer for help? I, I don't, don't know. Have time for small talk. Oh wow. How would it look to the? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just, I'm not trying to talk to anyone. I'm just trying to find him. Is he in the bar? Are we drinking? Ah, oh, he is. Okay. Hello. I just love how we're casually around 13 Doctor, or 12. Yeah, 13 murderers now. Have you made arrangements for Ratchet's body? Yes, it will be collected by the Italian authorities when we reach Venice. The autopsy will be performed there. However, there is something odd. Oh? Since the train is French, jurisdiction must be shared. When I told them you were already on the scene, they have both agreed to support your investigation until we reach Paris. Oh. Ratchet's compartment will be sealed until we arrive there. All of those who conspired to kill Ratchet are to be confined to the train until then as well. So, thanks to you, I am the rope in a tug of war between two countries. Oh, <laughs> but I thought you would want to be in charge. And isn't it odd we continue on our journey with a trainload of people that police consider potential murderers? <laughs> yeah. Tell me yourself, Doctor. It is not the first time I find myself in the middle. And to be honest, I welcome the chance to see this case through. It is Perky, fast don't care. becoming one of the most challenging of my career. Okay. Um, so... Now what? Can we actually talk to other people? Hey, murderer! Come with me to Venice. Oh, are we asking for help? Wait. Hold on. Why are we asking him? The appointment. Find, find your Hastings. I have to find someone who can help me with help with my investigation in Venice. Uh, we're not 
we're not bringing him. He's a hothead. Her. Why? Actually, she is like the most correct option, I think, out of all of them. Come with me to Venice. Mademoiselle Luck, you are clearly an excellent police officer. Could you accompany me to Venice for an investigation into Ratchet's activities? It'll there be is fine. Much we still need to know. We can I... get some gelato. Well, yes, it would be an honor to work with you. And I'm glad you trust me. What do you have in mind? There was a notation in Ratchet's appointment book. He had an appointment. With who? There were only the initials A.W. They were to meet at 10 o'clock at the Fontana dei Conigli. I want to Conigli. know who Ratchet was meeting and why. But you've already discovered the 12 conspirators. Why is this meeting important? Unfortunately, the case is not complete. Dr. Constantine has discovered the presence of a 13th stab wound. One of them could have stabbed him twice. The wound was made with another finer blade. Mm -hmm. Why would one of them have used two knives? Did they want to confess they killed him more than the others? And if so, why bother to deny it when they have already confessed? No, it makes no sense. And I do not close a case until all questions <laughs> have been answered. We have you standards. All people must understand this. You're right. I do understand. I'll help you. Let's go. Thank cool. You. Together, we will uncover the truth. We will arrive in a few hours. Take the opportunity to rest. I slept well last night. No more effects of the drug. Excellent. Then be prepared when we reach Venice. We have another mystery to solve. We have a whole nother set of chapters to go through just for one murderer now. See, that's cool. Are we actually going to be able to walk around? I've been to Venice once. It was very pretty. I was young though. I, I was I would I would like to say I think I was a little too young to go. Just for the fact that it's hard to appreciate stuff when you're at a certain age. I went when I was around 13 and I was more of like a rebel. Rebel. I was just like I didn't just find an appreciation in the architecture or the art or the culture of it because I was just so young and naive and ignorant. I just didn't understand. It was just like a big trip that was like set and um, I would love to go again being older now to experience it and actually like learn and take it all in. That would be really pretty. Really nice. I do remember some food. Some food was good. I had a shrimp that was like this big. It was a huge freaking shrimp. This is the third embarking dock and no gondoliers available at all. Whoa. With Carnival, Whoa. you can't find a gondolier to cross that damn canal. They're all booked. So I really could have brought anyone with me? The fountain is just across this canal. We're almost there. That's really cool if I could have brought anyone with me. Maybe I should have brought someone like who is truly innocent, like the doctor. I just didn't think it would be a- I didn't think that would be an option. Very pretty. So are we going to be able to walk around? <gasps> There's a kitty cat! I see a gondolier just over there. <gasps> no, this must be intentional then if I get to play as her. Can I pet the cat? Hello. I hope you're enjoying the festival. Okay, so what do we got here? So uh, what is this? Churro! Churros? I didn't even know churros was a, was a thing that they uh, would have a vending place for over here. Dude, look at this one in the purple. Just straight up boogieing. <laughs> this is cool. This is fun. Some of these people look so familiar. Okay, let's just uh, run over. I'm, I'm like inspecting everyone's faces to see if we see anyone that's uh, a little suspicious. It looks like all like duplicated people. Okay, where's the gondola? Here. This one. I want this one, please. This one with the flowers in it. Hello. Can we have a ride? Hi there. We'd like to cross the canal, please. There is a bridge about a kilometer down the canal. Please. According to the map, the Fontana de Canigli is just across the canal here. No. I, Gabriele, cannot help you. I'm sorry. 
Why we'll miss not? the 10 o'clock rendezvous if we try to get through this crowd and have to walk a kilometer in both directions. Why is he refusing to take us across? He looks upset. I should try to find out why. Did you get dumped? Money. If it's a matter of price, I'm sure we can work it out. Money? Money won't help me now. His problem isn't money. What is it then? You suck. You suck. Are you sick? Is it love? I think it's love, because look, the flowers are there. Oh, did you get dumped? Ah, what a sham. A beautiful bouquet crushed by revelers. Revelers? Bella, Bella Chiara. The beautiful Chiara. A beautiful name for a beautiful gondola. Bella Chiara. Oh. Gondolier problem. What's his problem? He's fed up with Taurus. He had a fight with his girlfriend. He ruined his bouquet of flowers. He had a fight with his girlfriend? Okay. Yeah, that makes the most sense. But you can make it up. What's the name of the gondolier's girl of the gondolier's girlfriend? Oh gosh. Kiara. That's it. The Mona Lisa. <laughs> Score. One for the good guys. One for the good guys. Heck yeah, man. We did it. Girl problems? I get it. Well, I don't, but, you know, I, I'm, I'm usually the girl in the girl problems, but, you know, it's fine. I'm sorry you had a fight with Kiara. What? How did you know? I'm, I'm a stalker. detective. I'd like to help, if I can. If you have a spare engagement ring, detective, I'll take it. Ah, I see. You lost the engagement ring you were planning to give Kiara? Lost? It is worse than that. I threw it away in the canal. I bitterly regret this gesture. I now find myself without a girlfriend and without a Why ring. would you do that? Why would you do that? That's expensive. If we find the ring, maybe the gondolier will take it. It's in the across. water. You are right. There is not much time. I will help you. My turn? My turn. Oh, never mind. It's in the water. What do you mean, help? What am I gonna do? Fish? Churro man, help me, please. I have to fish something out. No, oh, this is gonna work. Also, what's back here? Is the train back here? I wanna explore. <laughs> oh, ooh, lots of people back here. I just wanna see what's happening over here. Ah, you guys messed this up. That's a clever way of doing it. Who are you? You Hercule? No, nope, you are not Hercule. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind, sorry. Where am I supposed to be going? I don't... Oh, there's a kitty cat! <gasps> Hello! Oh, oh, junk. Am I... <laughs> I'm going through some junk? Okay. Is this it? Let's go. Someone will be happy. That works. What's all this? Nothing. I don't need an empty soda can. Yeah, that's nothing. And junk, and that's a bottle. But I might as well look through it. There are too many plastic bottles in the world. That's true. I use Brita bottles. I truly don't think the filters are doing anything, though. It's obviously better, but nothing beats a cold, like, bottle of water. We don't do bottled waters in the house anymore. But, like, oh, whenever it's, like, a hot day, you could pop one out from the fridge. Because we don't keep our Brita's in the fridge, because obviously we can just carry it around with us and fill it up with water. I have the ring! Excuse me. I believe I have something that belongs to you. Enjoy it! Mamma mia, grazie mille, signorina! With this, I can now win my Chiara's heart again. I know it. How to thank you? My friend and I need to get to the other side. Yeah, we, we gotta have go. a very important date at the Fontana di Conigli. Ah, yes. The rabbit fountain. Of course, I'll you take you across. It, then I will call Chiara. <laughs> Hopefully she will forgive me. I'm sure she will. Well done, Detective Locke. Nice! Yeah, it had to be a thing where we take her instead. No way we were gonna play as, like, a captain or butt not. <laughs> and this district to do of Venice this. is very charming. You will love it. Very pretty, very quiet. Where'd the music go? Yep. This is nice. I love it. 
very calming. So how's your day been? Mmm. Oh, nice. Really nice. Yeah. No. Oh, never mind. We're playing now. If it's not too much to ask, can you wait for us until we return? Yes, no worries. I can call Chiara from here to find the fountain, walk along the quay on the left, then cross the bridge and you are there. You cannot miss it. Got it. Thank you. All Thank right. you, Signorina. You have made me the happiest gondolier in Venice. Aww. Chiara, I'm sorry. Aww. Can we listen on the conversation? Well, no, I don't want to bother him. Yes, I oh, he actually does keep talking. Uh, okay, so back here, right? That's what they were aiming at? No time, just keep going. Hello? Oh, very, very pretty. He said across the bridge. And then... Then this is where I get lost. There's so many cats! <laughs> I love how many cats there are. Oh, we're already at the rabbit fountain. Okay. So now we're just scoping it out, waiting. Oh, I see another cat in there. <laughs> it's 9.55. The right time in the right place. Now A.W. just needs to show up. You made me run, Detective Locke. Poirot does not run. <laughs> I'll wait sitting down. Oh, the cat is so freaking cute. Poirot, pet the cat. Come on, don't be afraid. Just pet the cat. Discover who A.W. is. We don't really... Unless they're here already. Oh, why is it silent? Oh, it's so eerie silent. They're dancing, but there's no music. Can we look at our mind map? Is there anything? Okay, so no. We're just kind of looking around right now. Nothing to deduce. Okay. Are you A.W.? Did you have an appointment here at the fountain? Yes, to party. <laughs> yes, to party. What an answer. That's cool. Uh, so we're looking probably for someone who isn't dressed up, I would assume. Or maybe is. To hide their identity. That place opened up. Maybe we can go in there. Did you have an appointment here at the fountain? Yes, to party. <laughs> yes, to party. Can this open up? <gasps> nice. For what, though? It's a little cat. I love how many cats there are. Also, those chairs are really cute. If there's no one to help me, they won't mind if I help myself. Oh. First name, last name. Aziz wa wa Wadi, Switzerland. Check out. <gasps> Their checkout was today. Aziz Wadi. That's the only name that corresponds to the initials AW. Spacente. Non ti ho sentito. Posso aiutarla? Oh my gosh, you look like Book. Uh, looking for I'm someone. sorry, I don't speak Italian. Do you speak English? Of course, signorina. How may I bother you? How? What? Oh, I I have an appointment with one of your guests. What is it, the name? Uh, Aziz Wald Wadi. I have an appointment with Mr. Aziz Wadi. Do you know if he's here? Well, unfortunately, he left the hotel this morning. Oh, this morning? He seemed to be in a hurry, but he left a carta. You are? Mrs. Ratchet Joanne Locke. I don't think we should lie and say Mrs. Ratchet. Should we? Oh, should we? Oh. I will. You know what? I will. Just just to see what happens. I will. I'm Mrs. Ratchet. Mr. Wadi asked me to give the message to the Signore, but I suppose this is okay. Ah. Oh, 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 oh. I think I'm being watched. I changed our meeting place. Alice was sitting on the fountain. She glanced at the statue of the white rabbit. Suddenly, the beast hopped away. Alice followed it. Again, let Alice be your guide. After walking through a narrow alley, crossing a bridge, Alice came upon two men who were arguing over who had the tallest hat. Her feet le uh, led her back to a narrow alleyway th and then to a small square, where she found a cat drinking tea. The mischievous kitty ran into another alley and uh, Alice chased after him. Breathless, Alice arrived in a large square with barracks for playing card soldiers. Out they came marching towards her. Alice ran and ran to the end of the quay. There, 
There, a large door with a Gorgon's face on it demanded a secret code. That code that Alice had collected throughout her journey. Oh. <gasps> Bunny! Okay. Weird. So I guess we have to follow this as a code clue thing. Thank you! Can we talk to Poroy about this? So, mademoiselle, was our mysterious A.W. here? No. no, but I managed to get his name. Aziz Wadi. And a letter he wrote for Ratchet. It seems to be a kind of riddle rhyme. Let me see. Ooh, let our big brain work. Our gray cells are way stronger. Well, Ratchet and Mr. Wadi must love this book to refer to it so much. Yes, I think we have to search and find the tracks that this person left for Ratchet to find him. I think so. Lead the way, Mademoiselle Luck. Oh, I have to do it? Aw, oh, dip. Okay, White Rabbit. This white rabbit, and then the rabbit got up and started running away. Oh boy. Oh brother. Okay, I think I'm being watched. I changed our meeting place. Alice was sitting on the fountain. She glanced at the statue of the white rabbit. Suddenly the beast hopped away. Alice followed it again. Let Alice be your guide. After walking through a narrow. So now we have the bunny, so we have to go through a narrow alley and cross a bit bridge to find two men arguing over the tallest hat. And the bunny's over facing this way, so I'm assuming over here. Let's see. We got a narrow. Oh, this is pretty narrow. Do we have a bridge anywhere? Hmm. I don't see anything. I mean, at least they got the narrowness right, because I do remember in Italy, we were like lugging around our suitcases, and it was quite snug. Hmm, I'm back here. No, this isn't right, this isn't right. Narrow alleyway and a bridge. We just, we were at O. Then we go here. So is it between, is it that bridge or that bridge? Let's try going, oh, no, 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 no. I keep forgetting, I just need to right click to back out. Let's go through the here. Hello, oh my gosh, is he okay? Okay, I guess I'll ignore that. Here's this bridge, and then two men arguing over the tallest... Who has the tallest hat? Um... I don't see any of that here. This is a haircut place. This can't be right. There's a hat store here! This is just hats. Uh, maybe this is it. Okay, so let's keep going. Let's look again. Uh, her feet led her back to a narrow alley and then to a small square where she found a cat drinking tea. The cat ran into another alley. So a cat drinking tea after a small alley and a small square. Small square, small square. Um, could it be to our left? Like, is that a small square, or is that water? No, that's water. Um, maybe. Oh my gosh, come on! <laughs> Keep messing up! Oh, my brain's gonna freaking explode. Oh my gosh, wait. <laughs> I was just wandering around, still trying to look for the first clue. Is this actually the door? Oh, but it has a passcode on it, and it's nine. Oh, uh, and so it must be like a three-digit passcode, right? I'm assuming so. I don't need Mr. Poirot to tell me I'm wrong. Okay, 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 okay. So it's a five-digit passcode. Last number is nine. All right, so at least I found the, the door, which is basically hidden in a corner. Mm, okay, so we still got to find... One, two, three, four, five. So maybe there was a code at the white rabbit, and I missed that, so I'm probably gonna have to go back now. Okay, well, let's get to it then. Well, I- wait, hold on, I just found a code. I found one number, four, and it's on a cat thing. So, what would that be? Uh... Maybe, was she found a cat drinking tea? So maybe the third number is four, then? 
I'm gonna have to write this down. Hold on. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta write this down. Okay. All right. Wrote, wrote it down, and I guess that's number one for us. So that means I still passed it up. Ah, yep. The hat was, had a number eight on it. I didn't see that. And the hat was the second number. So I think it's blank eight, blank four, blank. And I'm moving the four from the third statement to the fourth because I noticed on the floor there was some playing cards. So maybe that was supposed to be like the army of playing card soldiers. I don't know. I gotta keep looking, I guess. <laughs> this is gonna take me forever, dude. <gasps> yep. Yep, 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 yep. Bunny was number two. How did I miss that? Okay, so now we're at two, eight, blank, four blank so i'm missing one more and then i can go on <gasps> hey look at that the bunny has a mustache excuse me lady boink nice <laughs> yourself joanna you earned it i do earn it after going through all this i earn it <laughs> oh here we go okay never mind never mind never mind this is the place because this is the police so i guess this is the real soldiers so i was wrong so revert it so now it's going to be two eight four six and then whatever the door was at the- whatever was at that door. Which I literally have no idea where that door is now. <laughs> I have no idea where that door is now. I've been running around here for way too long. Is it down here? Oh, it's down here. Okay, cool. Okay, so basically I did it wrong when it meant that she ran back into the alleyway. I thought she meant- I first read it as if that she ran into like just back into another narrow alleyway. No, she ran backwards. So that's what confused me was the wording. But I did it. I did it and we could finally be over with this. This riddle sucked. I hated it. Last number is nine. So the code, if I'm right, should be two, eight, four, six, nine. Let's go. Please end my suffering. Hello. Oh wow, it leads to a whole nother area. I thought that would lead to a room. Excuse me? Hey, you. I can't lose them. Oh my gosh. Oh, we're in a chase. We're in a chase. You're not. I'm not losing you. How do I? How do I close in? Go, 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 go. I'm right there. Are you kidding me? No, 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 no. I saw that. I saw that. You're not escaping from me. I see you. Go, 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 use your feet. Use your feet, lock. You're not getting, no, ladies, ladies. Oh my gosh, those ladies sabotage. They couldn't move, they moved for him, but they couldn't move for me. Shame, shame. I am so hunting you down. Get your braggity butt over here, you killed. I'm right there. Just grab onto his shoe. Grab onto those heels. Go, go, go. Oh my gosh, the distance. The distance. Where'd he go? Oh, I went the right way. Good. Come on. Get him. Yes. Yes. <laughs> You're so done for. Wait, what? Over. <laughs> That's what you should have done with the other women. Are you kidding me? There's no way. Legitimately no way, unless there's like blood on him. Too many masks. The murderer could be standing there watching me and, and laughing. Are you kidding me? Wow. I bet it's that one right there, just chilling out. Yes, Detective Luck. The murderer got away. I'm coming back. But it looked like he dropped something when he climbed the first wall. All right, I'll go and see. For my part, <sighs> unfortunately, I could do nothing for the victim. Was already dead. I have already alerted the Italian authorities. I will see what I can find while I wait for them. Dang. Did well in the chase, though. Pat on my back. <gasps> we got the gloves on. Sneaky, sneaky. Holy cow, that's a lot of money. And glasses. Ho, ho, ho. A pair of women's glasses. A 
was Ratchet planning a new No identity. way Ratchet was planning on being a, a new identity as a woman. With that ugly mug of his, he wouldn't make it. The victim was stabbed. Apparently the method of choice in this case. Okay, was it can we look at the knife? Mmm. Ooh. A bunch of keys. If, as seems likely, Mr. Wadi is a resident of Geneva, then one of these may belong to his home there. Okay. Well, that's that's great. What do we got? Various clothes in his suitcase. What's this? Mr. Wadi was obviously planning to leave this city. Yeah, what's this? A passport! Oh, that's an interesting looking up passport. It's a Swiss passport, that's why. Oh, there he is. He looks like something Ratchet would hang around. Mr. Wadi's Swiss passport. I'll see if I can find a match on the internet to confirm his identity. Maybe he has many identities. Huh. Maybe it's the same guy who did the 13th stab on Ratchet? I don't know. Uh, Aziz... Oh, snap. I forgot his name. Aziz Wadi? He's Swiss. City Geneva. 54? I do not think 45. that's the right answer. Okay. I just didn't know his age. I didn't look. I didn't check. That's the right answer. Yay. Easy. Anything on him? Any dirt? No? Okay. Nothing I can do about this. Oh, the money. There must be several tens of thousands of dollars in this bag. Just take one. Just take one. It's fine. He's not going to notice. Just take one. Okay, so then she stabbed, or he stabbed, or they stabbed, and ran this way. Where is the wall that they climbed? How do we cross this bridge? What is that? Oh, they tossed something. Never mind. Aha, golden mustache. <laughs> Never mind. It's just a little something for me. Oh, here's what they tossed. What's this? Another passport. <gasps> oh, he was gonna have another name. Enrico Caldo. He was gonna go Italian. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, wow, our birthdays are almost... No, this is date of expiration, date of stuff. Never mind, I thought that his birthday's up here. Never mind. A false passport with Ratchet's picture. Clock, Ratchet, how many others? Now he will become Enrico Caldo. Enrico. It appears Ratchet changed his identity as often as he sucks. <laughs> he was undercover. Malicious thing, man. Malicious. No, no knife though. Ooh. It's purple. Intuition's allow you to draw your own conclusions. To form from a deal with Chiaro from an Armstrong case. From the Armstrong case ransom would make sense. This appears That's like to the be latest lead. thing. The deal with Chiaro, I don't know. I'm sorry I couldn't catch the suspect, Mr. Shame Plumber. on you. There is no need to apologize, mademoiselle. Your efforts were marvelous. I found some information about Mr. Wadi. Mm -hmm. Did you access the FBI database? Don't worry. My little gray cells were enough. However, the database may confirm the origin of these banknotes. No need. I included them when I continued my investigation. Excellent. Okay. Oh. Oh, wow. So oh, is this the ransom? Why the serial numbers of the dollar bills among the f okay oh boy oh gosh oh I have to actually do this I'm looking for N A aren't I yeah I am all right N A two one five we got two two one fives here uh zero two two oh here we go this one oh wait no this one the detective gets it right I have to find them all. Oh my gosh, I really, why do I have to do this? I need to find another NA. Are these, are these two the same? Yeah, they are. So what are these? P? Oh, that's so messed up. Okay, this one must be it. Yep, it is. Boink. That's it. 
No rookie mistake there. And another NA. 2158188. Lots of eights. Oh, there it is. Oh, boink. Okay, I'm a pretty good detective. So it is the ransom there. money. Mr. Poirot, it's part of the ransom money from the Armstrong case. You are surprised? I suppose not. So Ratchet had it in an account at the Bank du Lac. It would seem so. He knew the serial numbers on the bank notes could be traced, and he could not spend it, so he stashed it there. But now he's run low, something he didn't count on. He hopes enough time has passed so he can begin to spend the ransom money. Ah, oh, there is something else he didn't count on. What's that? He didn't count on you, Detective Locke. Yep. And your tenacity. You kept going. Thank you. But we are still left with a murderer on the loose. But we progress. We know Mr. Wadi had an appointment with Ratchet. Mm -hmm. He had a bag full of money and a passport with Ratchet's photo, but a new name. What is your opinion about the passport? What about Ratchet's passport? Ratchet wanted to disappear again, hiding behind another fake identity. The passport reveals Ratchet's true identity? I don't think it reveals his true identity. I think he just wanted to leave again. Because I, I think he just wanted to leave again. I discovered that he was arrested in Armenia for trafficking and That's stolen true. art. And was supposed to be arraigned in January. Once again, he changed his identity and vanished. You are correct, mademoiselle. He also told me that he was threatened. And that threatening letter we found in his room was real. Very he real. to disappear once again. Uh, why did the murderer leave the money? The motive is not the money. It was too risky to take it. No, the motive is not the money. The bag isn't very big. He could have easily run away with it. If he didn't take it, it was deliberate. He wasn't interested in the money. If the motive wasn't money, it leaves passion or revenge for motive. So, Detective Locke, what do you think? Passion or revenge? Oh my gosh. Well, come on. You're asking a dumb question. All of it so far has been revenge. And we know for a fact that Ratchet was a horrible human. Oh, but they didn't kill Ratchet. They killed someone else. Um, I still think the motive is revenge because this person doesn't seem pretty cool either. It would make more sense. Passion would be too random and then this would lead to a dead end. Revenge seems like an obvious motive to me. The murderer carefully followed Wadi from the fountain to the new meeting place despite Wadi's precautions. That is cold and careful. That's true. Excellent. We cannot yet know for certain, but that is a sound psychological analysis. We have an idea of the motive. It is the same motive as that of our 12 would-be murderers on the train. Yep. But we still must know who was under that mask. A murderer hired by Ratchet? The same murderer who killed Ratchet? Oh, I dip. I don't know. I think it has to be the murderer who killed Ratchet. I think it might be, because everyone's dropped off and can leave right now. A murderer hired by Ratchet? That makes no sense. No. Same murderer who killed... Hired... But hired would make sense! Because then he doesn't have to worry about this guy's baggage. I'm gonna say murderer hired by Ratchet. Because if it was someone who killed Ratchet... Someone really on the train is very cold and calculated. Let's do hire. What if Ratchet hired a hitman to kill Wadi in order to not leave a witness? An interesting possibility, but it is much more likely that Mr. Wadi's killer is also Ratchet's killer. Wow. Of course, <laughs> okay. if the two were stabbed in revenge, and both are tied to the Armstrong case. That's yes. true. Oh, yeah, so revenge. I say revenge, and then I say, oh, he's Armstrong hired. Case. That makes the sense. The money is linked to the Armstrong case, but... These glasses that I found in the bag, they must have something to do with this case, too. Wait, those glasses mean something to me. <sighs> Dr. Constantine? Susan? Wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. Moro did not... She did have glasses. She did. Wait, I know. I've seen these. They belong to Susan Moreau, little Daisy's nurse. I remember seeing them in her bedroom. But they were gone the day she died. I remember the press saying that the nurse had committed suicide. 
I've always believed otherwise. And the glasses are proof that she was killed by Ratchet wow. or his accomplice. He took those glasses. I always had a gut Why feeling, does he but take now, things from people Mr. he kills? Poirot, now I have proof Suzanne was innocent. Yes, you do. But the question I ask myself is this. Why did Ratchet keep these glasses? The same reason why he keeps photos of the girl, trophies of his victims. It's weird. In my investigation at the time, I had already found Daisy's hair clip in one of Ratchet's yep. hideouts. And now, Suzanne's glasses end up in this bag, which was a delivery to him. Two objects from two victims of Ratchet. Keeping an object belonging to his victims as a memento of the murder. He was a fetishistic killer, a trophy Aww. hunter. Okay, we managed to clear up some of the gray areas. Ew. What now? The bag only contained a fraction of the one million dollar ransom of the Armstrong case. The rest must still be in a secure place. I will make a wager with you that it is the Banque du Lac in Geneva where Mr. Wadi worked. Wadi was also the keeper of Ratchet's secrets. They were killed by the same murderer. Agreed. Well, there is nothing more we can do here except wait for the police. Prepare yourself for a long evening with the police. Oh, yay! Explaining to do. Are and we actually? That? And after that, can we kiss? A visit to Geneva, perhaps. Oh, Geneva, really? Oh, that was a really long chapter. Oh, should I continue? I'll, I'll continue, but I I really <laughs> I need to use the restroom, so can I pause? Uh, I'm sorry for pausing. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Summer 18th. It's still pretty late. Are we going to miss the train? Nope. Book. Hey, Book. Here you are at last. I was worried about you. We just left the police station. We had to explain to the Italian police that we were not murderers. <laughs> what? Another murder? I'll tell you when we are underway. Are all passengers and staff aboard? Yes, everyone is here. We were waiting for you. Excellent. Let's not waste any the more time. The train sounds like it's we about to start. To a longer than usual stop in Lausanne. What? How long? Long enough to do a little banking in Geneva. <laughs> Where is Geneva? I have no idea where Geneva is. Also, that food looks really good. What is that? Potatoes and lobster? Train is so pretty. Makes me want to have a train set. <laughs> oh! Book! How you doing, Book? But this is madness! A 13th murderer of Ratchet? Mon ami, he was not well liked. But Monsieur Michel would have seen anyone enter Ratchet's compartment. And there were another ten people milling about, <laughs> taking their turn at stabbing him. How could they not notice an uninvited killer? It's a whole lot of people. Smoked in Vinkovsky? That's true. The 13th killer could have acted when Michel was smoking on the platform at Vinkovsky, but even after the train departed, Michel was absent from his post at the end of the corridor several times the night of the murder. I must know where he really was and when. Yeah. Is the murderer still on the train? I would have to say yes, because if I say no, then the game ends. Yes. He most certainly returned to the train. How can you be sure? It's obvious. I mean, I hope Mr. Poirot agrees. Please continue, Detective Locke. I love how I'm playing both of these. What is the proof that the murderer is still on the train? He ran in the direction of the Venezia railway station. His best ticket out of Italy is aboard the train. There's no one missing on the train. There's no one missing on the train, right? All the passengers and crew are still aboard. If the killer of Mr. Wadi had remained in Venice, we would have noticed right away that someone was missing. And no one could have, have left the night of the, the murder. I promise you. I made certain everyone was aboard before we embarked. Book, calm yourself. Calm myself? But we're back where we started. Mm -hmm. There is still another murderer on my train. Wait a moment. Can I change my mind about my verdict? Can we turn everyone over to the police? Uh... Everyone? <laughs> Including ourselves? What? No. I... No. 
You know, oh, oh, <laughs> it's a nightmare. Let Poor us book. take it step by step, my friend. We can start by eliminating all of the members of the Ratchet jury. Okay, who are the 12 people who were both Ratchet's jury and executioners? But Devin, Drag, Fosk, Hard, Hub, Mac, Master, Michelle, jeez, Andre, Olsen, and Schmidt. Yep, so it leads these people. I still think it's Jean. I do, I still think it's Jean. I feel like it's gonna be random. If we eliminate the 12 jurors, we are left with seven additional suspects. Seven? It's still too many. I agree. We must reduce our list. Excuse my impatience, Poirot. It's as if my beautiful train Aww. is cursed. Can you exonerate any of the seven? Is Book a suspect? No. The runner did not look like it could be Book. Right. Book worked hard to get me aboard the train. He is definitely not a suspect. Very, very true. Is Locke a suspect? No, she chased the killer. <laughs> she well chased done. the killer. Mademoiselle Locke cannot be a suspect. Yeah, there you go. She pursued Mr. Waddy's murderer. Oh boy, I don't think he can run this fast. Is Dr. Constantine suspect? No. Yes. Plus he also came in to tell me. Dr. Constantine mm -hmm. alerted me to the 13th stab wound. He is not a suspect. Yeah, why would he be? That was easy. So it, leads, it just leaves the I chefs. I have four suspects left who I must now examine more closely. Miss Nielsen, Monsieur Maury, Monsieur Fauché, Fauché. and Countess Andrény. I really think it's Fauché. Employees? Suspicious? All three got off the train in Venice to restock supplies. Ooh. Any one of them might have slipped away without being noticed. I suppose. I suppose. But what of Countess Andrini? You cleared her yourself. She is cleared of the first murder. Mm -hmm. But we know little of her movements here in Venice. So we still have four suspects to interview. Detective Locke? I can't join you, Poirot. What? My chief saw something on the news about the case and my involvement. He's demanding an explanation. If I want to keep my badge, I have to call him. Dang. Respectable. Then you must do so by all means. I'm sorry. You're good. No need to apologize. I understand. Yeah, it's all fine. I'll make the call for my compartment. If you're looking for me, I'll be there. I am Hercule Poirot, after all. I can do this. I hate to say this, Poirot, but I must. There is, of course, one other suspect with a motive for murder. The ransom money. You mean Detective Luck? Then who did she chase? Who killed Aziz? Exactly. We both saw the masked murderer standing over the body. That would make no sense to me. Book, you're being suspicious. Unless it was all staged. No, because I was playing as her the entire time. Interrogate Mr. Fauchier. Oh boy. Oh, I need to talk to ah, you. Michel. I have a few more questions to ask you, if you will allow me. If you don't Anything, mind. Monsieur Poirot. We are in your debt. Yeah, I let you clear a murder. Timeline, what did you do in Venice? Please tell me your movements when we were stopped at Venice Station. Once the compartments were cleaned and the linen refreshed, I stayed in my quarters. Did you notice anything special? Comings and goings? Monsieur Book had asked everyone to stay in their compartments. I would occasionally walk the train to ensure everyone was comfortable. Oh. I saw Monsieur Maury was all alone loading his crates of provisions. A great chef like that, reduced to petty labor. I would have helped him. But Monsieur Book had ordered me not to leave the train for any reason. Why? So, Monsieur Maury was forced to labor alone. That's weird. Why was Book so adamant? Let us review the actual timeline of the night of Ratchet's murder, not the one manufactured to hide your crime. <laughs> I left the train in Minkowski for a smoke, then I resumed my post. That was the truth. The train departed on schedule, but then of course an avalanche of snow blocked the tracks. At 12.45, Madame Hubbard and I met in her compartment to discuss how to adapt our plan. Due to the snow, 
And well, the little play we had staged for you had to be rewritten. I left your compartment at approximately 1.15. Then the curtain went up. Calls in the night, the red kimono. All for my benefit. And all for nothing, <laughs> as it turned out. Do not blame yourself, Michel. I am the theater critic no playwright wants to see in the audience. All right, okay. So he was gone for a minute, for a little hot minute. So let's see. No one's here. I guess everyone's in their rooms right now because it's late. It's really late. So I wonder when you play? You play well. I didn't mean to interrupt you. Thank you. Many years of piano lessons thanks to my mother. I try to play in a few clubs in Paris when I get the chance. But as you can see, it hasn't made me rich. What can I do for you? Conversation only. Mm-hmm. Uh, what did you do in Venice? Tell me about your time in Venice. I had Monsieur Book's permission to see my sister. She lives in Marghera, just outside of Venice. She had a baby a few weeks ago. This was my first chance to meet my new nephew. Aww. Monsieur Book gave you permission? Yes, you can ask him. Most assuredly, I will. What time did you leave, and when did you return? I left around 9, 10 p.m. I was back by 10.45 p.m. When I got back, Hotaru was in a lot of pain. I gave him a back massage. That would what? have been enough time to kill Monsieur Wadi and return to the train. I s Jean! You're so suspicious! May I see your knives? Of course. They are here. If you don't mind. Help yourself. They are under the bar counter. Okay, and then Night of, the Ra of Ratchet's Murder Timeline. Tell me again about your poker game, the night of the murder. It's a regular game to help relax after a long day. Let's see, we started around 11 p.m. We took a short break in Vinkovsky, Hotaru, Pierre, and I. The game finished up around 2 a.m. We'd all had quite a bit to drink. Ah, yes, I left for about 10 minutes to refrigerate champagne for the next day. That must have been around 1 a.m. Mm. Oh, Jean, I like you, but I don't know. It's also really cool that you're playing the piano music that we've been hearing this entire time. Oh, never mind, you're not. This knife looks pretty sus. None of these come close to the wounds on either body. Never mind. Uh, okay. Would it be... Like, I don't think it's Hotaru. That's, like, actually one person I don't think it is. I can, I can think it can be the girl. I forgot her name. What are you eating, Book? A donut? Um, I think it could be the girl, but I don't think it could be Hotaru. Hey, I came to slay. What's this? Afferano? The frick is this? Is that it must be worth a small fortune. That's a whole lot of saffron. Good evening, Monsieur Mori. May I have a moment of your time? I have a few questions to ask you. Of course. As long as you don't mind if dinner is ruined. Uh, I okay. promise to be as brief as possible. Rude. What did you do in Venice? What did you do while we were stopped in Venice? With Freya's help, I loaded fresh produce for the next part of our journey. Then, you may not believe this, but my job requires a lot of physical labor. My back suffers. Fortunately, Jean has become quite adept at separating my vertebrae. He said Freya helped, yet Freya didn't help. Is he covering for Freya? Is it Freya? As you may know, I have solved the murder of Monsieur Ratchet. That is a shame. I beg your pardon? What? The bastard sent my steak turtle back, telling John I was to burn it. I will add it to the list of his crimes. <laughs> One wound on Monsieur Ratchet's body was struck by a very sharp, thin-bladed knife. We haven't found it yet. You think one of mine was used? I'd like to have a look, if you don't mind. In that drawer. All right, it doesn't look like you're missing Ooh, any. An impressive set of knives. But their blades are too wide yeah. to have been used with the car. Why does that one have a flat tip? Uh, Night of Ratchet's Murder Tell Timeline. Tell me about your poker game, The Night of the Murder. We started around 11 p.m. when John finished his shift. We played until around 2 a.m. From what I remember, 
It's a bit vague. You played without a break. Actually, we did break once for a smoke. Yeah. John, Pierre, and I. When we stopped in Vinkovsky. When was that? Around midnight. Freya is not looking good right now. Freya is the American, right? Ooh, she's not looking good right now. She wasn't part of that. Eesh, 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 eesh. Um, where's Freya then? Let's talk to her. Cause he lied, saying that Freya helped. And he was super drunk, and then Jean had to go... Hello. Hmm, a black feather. That reminds me of something. Mm. Um, what, you, what was I gonna say? Like, he was drunk. Hotoru was drunk. And then Jean had to go do champagne stuff. So that gave Freya more than enough time. More than enough time. The box is secured by some sort of locking mechanism. What is this? The design Crisps? is formed by three commas. What is the word in Japanese? Tamoy. Tamoy? And it's obviously missing a piece. Okay, so I need to find something for the chomoy. Tamoy. Chocolate cakes! Freya would kill you for that. And let's see, nothing up there. Okay. That feather's definitely from the carnival. She's not in here. So is she in the back? Freya! There you are. Let me take a look around real quick, Freya. Before I start talking to you. Oh. Mustache! Another golden mustache to treasure. I will treasure it greatly. Alright. Spill the tea. Good evening, Mademoiselle Nielsen. May I talk to you for a moment? Of course, Mr. Poirot. I'm not going to bed right away. Uh, what did you do in Venice? Can you tell me your movements while we were stopped in Venice? Uh, that'll be easy. I didn't move much at all. Let's see. I helped Hataru load all of the food crates aboard the train. Hataru had everything he needed, but I realized they forgot half of my order. I spent over an hour on the phone with the supplier without success. I had to change the dessert menu for tomorrow. Hmm. Doctor Constantine found a stab wound on Ratchet's body that was caused by a much thinner and sharper blade than the others. Possibly a chef's knife? My thought, precisely. And you'd like to see my knives? If you wouldn't mind. I would gladly show you if I had any, but I don't. I use the regular kitchen knives. You may search if you don't believe me. I see. All the knives the staff use are in the kitchen or in the lounge. Except... Except? Otaro prefers to use his own. Monsieur Mori doesn't use the kitchen knives? Not usually. I know he keeps a set of traditional Japanese knives in a box in his room. Oh, that's what it is. He doesn't let anyone else use them. Although now that I think of it, he has been using the kitchen knives lately. It's... Oh, I so think it's Freya. Because she's trying to set up. I don't know. Right now, my head is like... It's her. I really think it's her. Can you tell me exactly about your poker game, the night of the murder? We started around 11 p.m. In Vinkovsky, we took a short break. Hataru and Pierre went outside to smoke. Oh, and Hataru got sick around... A few minutes past 1 a.m. 1 10 a.m. maybe? He spent about 15 minutes in the bathroom, but he didn't want to quit on a losing streak. Did his luck improve? No, so we played to around 2 a.m. He lost every hand. So he went into the bathroom, and then Jean went in to get champagne, which leaves her very open ended. Oh, I don't trust it. I don't trust her. I have no trust for her anymore. She is suspicious. And do I talk to him about his knife set in the bedroom or no? Uh, no. Sorry, sorry. Enjoy making dinner. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, so can we talk to Book about all this? Uh, authorization for Mr. Fauché. You told Fauché he could go into Venice? Marguerite, actually. Not so far away. It was his only chance to see his sister. He's been working every trade for weeks. There is never time to see the new baby. Enough, Book. 
Your heart does you credit, but your common sense, it... I know, but it's fine, isn't it? He did come back. He did. Oh, it's fine, as you say. Unless he saw the baby, then killed someone else and returned to the train. But that's monstrous. Oh, man. Murder is always monstrous, my friend. Shoot! Oh my gosh, it's between. Okay, I don't. I really don't think it's Hotaru. But they said Mr. Michelle said that. Like okay, so Mr. Michelle, and then. Jean said that no one helped Hotaru, but Hotaru and Freya said that they both helped each other. <gasps> Sudoku, have fun. So who's freaking lying? Who's telling the truth? Who do I need to kill? All right, what is the goal right now? Interrogate Countess Andreni. Okay. Forgot about her. Forgot that she was an option. I don't think it's her. I don't... I don't see her doing it. She's kind of like the damsel in distress, you know? Is she one of these? I forget. Oh, she is. Is she okay? I'm sorry. Oh, is she like really, really not well? I'm gonna take a look-see in your room real quick. Oh! <gasps> Mustache. You can never have too many of these. You can't. And we already solved all of this. We're not doing that again. And the Great Gatsby. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, let's talk. What's the matter? Is it really getting to you? Doctor, I need to question Countess Andreni. I'm afraid that won't be possible, Mr. Poirot. The Countess had an anxiety attack when we arrived in Venice. She was terrified the police would come for her and her husband, despite how you concluded your investigation. Aww. I had to give her a sedative. She has been sleeping since. Yes, she is innocent. You have stayed with her all the time we were in Venice? Count Andrani begged me to watch over her. I have not left this room. You're the reason she's in this state. Oh, come on. Get Book over it. voted to absolve you all. I accepted his verdict. I told her. I tried to reason with her. What she has already suffered, the strain of these last few days, it was too much. I understand, Count. It's quite all right. I have the answers I came for. She's okay. So we she's innocent. Everyone, she's like full, like she literally did not do anything. Do not seem to correspond. Yes! I need to recheck a few things. Yes, let's please, 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 please. Check the knives of Mr. Mori. Is that Hotaru? Confronting Miss Nielsen. Is that Freya? Oh, I feel bad for Helena. I don't like how that's happening to her. Because she just seems really sweet and innocent. And I love them. Okay. It's like the two elements, the staff and the alibi of the murder. Mr. Mori vomited around 110. Mr. Fashor gets refrigerated champagne. Is it these two? Yep, because there's empty space there. Mr. Fashor boarded the train at 12.55 a.m. when Pierre Michel was not watching the corridor. Uh, Mr. Michel was not watching the hallway from one. Okay, these two? Mr. Mori reboarded the train at 1.10 a.m. when Pierre and Michelle was not watching the corridor. Miss Nielsen... Then they don't smoke. So literally any of them could do it, basically. Miss Nielsen did not leave the train in Vizkolski, so she was alone in the crew quarters. Any of the three staff members had the opportunity to kill Ratchet yep. when Monsieur Michel wasn't watching the hallway. That's the right answer. Yep, yep, yep. Nothing about that. So we have to confront Miss Nielsen and check the knives of Hotoru. How are we going to ask for the piece directly? How are we going to do that? Also, can we get like an official thing with Book saying if he did or did not let anyone um, help Hotoru? I feel like that would also like help. <laughs> that would help a lot right now. Can I ask you about your knives? We need to talk. Give me your knife. Give me your chest piece. Your knife piece. Nope. Okay. I guess I have to go in on a wild goose chase to find it. Where would you have it? 
Would it be like in a bedroom or something? Don't know. Is it like on the floor? Am I gonna really have to like look around? See the feathers there. How weird. Feathers there. Who's in this room together, by the way? What? Wait. Wait. Was this always here? This was not always here. What is this? What is happening? Wait, 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 wait. It says this? And then... No. What am I doing? Nope, I don't want to do that. Break you! <laughs> I keep clicking out. I want to... How do I turn? It says interact and then turn. Nope, I keep backing out. I'm so confused. I'm not clicking on that. There we go. My goodness. Okay, so we got two flowers. I can't press on them. See, like, look at that. It's, like, taking it. I'm, I'm trying to... There we go. Turn my freaking mouse. Oh. Oh. Okay, so we're showing out images. Maybe I need to move this over here. What are all these images for? Mm, it's still locked. I need to move the parts on the side. Oh. Mm, it's still locked. I need to move the parts on the side. Okay. There we go. <gasps> there we go. Oh my gosh. Finally. It was An like not object? working with me. It looks like a broken comma. Mm -hmm. It must be part of something else. It's part of the knife set. Did I really just miss that? Was that always there? Ding -ding -ding. Ba -da -ding. Ooh, this one could be it. Corteria Venezia. Venezia. Venice? They all have names on it. Sushi knives. Razor sharp. Why does this one say Venezia and then the others have a different language on it? Suspicious Hotaru. Ask Mr. Mori about his personal knives and then confront Miss Nielsen. We're gonna talk to Hotaru still. Kinda wanna save the Nielsen one last. Just to see what happens. Hotaru, explain your knives. You have some explaining to do and no massages will happen with it. I'm sorry, Monsieur Mori, but haven't you forgotten something? You haven't told me about the knives. Hidden in your room. Dun dun dun! Ha. Yes, indeed. I forgot to tell you about those. Mm. They are my personal knives. I only use these knives. There are none better. I bought them all in Japan. No one is allowed to touch them except me. Wait, you bought them all in Japan, but one of them was an Italian knife, so maybe the knife got replaced. Oh. Mm. That's definitely it. I'm afraid you are better at sushi than lying. <laughs> Jeez. What? What do you mean? Cotteria Venezia. That means someone bought the knife in Venice. Cotteria Venezia. Did you happen to go shopping tonight, monsieur? Damn you, Poirot. Very oh. Good. One of my sushi knives has been missing oh. since the night of the murder. I thought you were going to believe I killed Ratchet. He routinely sent back my dishes to be ruined. Why does God give rich people the money to afford the best cuisine, <laughs> but not the palate to appreciate it? I... I panic. I know a very good store in Venice. I went to buy a knife to replace oh. the one that had gone missing. Oh, oh, oh. So. Oh, because he's holding a knife. <laughs> I assume it's because he's holding a knife, so he's like, to do oh, calm down. I would have an easier time believing you, monsieur, if you put that knife down. Oh, yes, of course. Sorry. What <laughs> time did you leave on your little shopping trip? I left around 9.30 p.m. Uh, I was back a little after 11. 11.15 p.m.? Mm. Time enough to stab Monsieur Wadi and return. Yep. Very well, Monsieur Maury. That's all for now. 
If I have another question, I'll be right here, cooking. And waving my knife around, threatening you. Huh. Okay. I don't think it's him. I really don't. I'm really set on it being Freya. I kind of want it to be Freya, just for that, like, twist. Freya! Plus, she's more attached to it. She's American. Uh... Remind me of what you did when the train stopped in Venice. No problem. I helped Hataru load all of the food crates aboard the train. Hataru had everything he needed, but I realized they forgot half of my order. I spent over an hour on the phone with the supplier, without success. I had to change the dessert menu for tomorrow. Mm, I think it's the Hotaru one. I brought in all the food crates at Hotaru? Mademoiselle, I believe you're hiding the truth from me. What makes you say that? Uh, testimony of Mr. Mori, Mr. Foucher, Mr. Michel. Michel saw Mr. Mori carrying mm -hmm. the crates of food alone. You weren't on the platform. I did help Ataru. The entire time? He carried so many crates, his back was sore. Yep. Ah, I'm sorry about that. Okay, I'm guilty. I did leave him before we were finished. But I had to. There was no saffron he needed for a recipe. I volunteered to go into Venice and get him some. The Rialto market would be open late because of the carnival. You bought a he lot. gave me money. I knew we weren't supposed to leave the train, but I only wanted to help. Mr. Mori can confirm this. Ask him. I saved dinner. That's a lot of saffron, right? Small fortune? Oh, on behalf of my palate, I thank you. How long were you gone? I left at 9, 10 p.m. Oh and my was gosh. back with the saffron around 11. That's when I called my supplier for the items I was missing. Dude, everyone's still on the sus list. That literally Ms. deduces Ms. no one. I had almost two hours to buy the saffron, find a costume, kill Monsieur Wadi, elude Detective Locke, and make it back to the train for that phone call. Yep. Yes, it's possible that was enough time. Dang! Thank you, Mademoiselle Nielsen. We got that nowhere with this. All for now. Sorry again, Mr. Poirot. I hope you enjoy tonight's dessert. Oh, thank you. You're so sweet. Um, Dip, then who did it? Oh, alibis in Venice. Yeah, what's happening here? Who doesn't have an alibi for the murder of Mr. Waldy? Who doesn't? Maury? This is wrong. If it's not Mori, never far from the truth. Then it's Adreni? No. Poirot. So is it Jean? That is not a good answer. I must admit I'm not right this time. <laughs> so confused. So it's Nielsen. This is wrong. But I'm never far from the truth. Oh uh, multiple Oh, who doesn't have an alibi? For the murder of Mr. Waldy. Wadi. Voucher and Nielsen. I must admit I'm not No? Right. All of them then. Except her. There you go. Because she was asleep. So all of them, yeah. That's the right okay, answer. that was confusing. I thought I was only asking for one. Alibis in Venice. Report to Detective Locke. She's in her room. Yeah, we literally got nowhere with this. This was so much fun. I had a great time running around in circles for nothing. All of you guys are still suspicious. You have the knife and Jean doesn't really have a reason other than he, he could be physically fit for it. And basically same with Freya. But Freya bought a lot of saffron. She bought a lot of saffron. And he said that cost a small fortune. There was a whole bag of money there. She could have easily taken a stack of it and then used that. Don't know. I don't also know where our detective is staying. I'm assuming she's like all the way back here. He, or Hotoru gave money. Hotoru could... No, because Hotoru was... They were all separated. That's what makes it that where they don't have any alibi whatsoever. So I don't know. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, is she in this last one? Nope. She's in one of these. She in this one? No. She in this one? There she is. Hey, girl. Hey. What have you been doing, Poirot? 
I am completely in the dark. I will shine some light on the situation, my friend. I have three new suspects who could have killed Ratchet and Monsieur Wadi. Mm -hmm. Miss Nielsen, Monsieur Fauché, and Monsieur Mori. They all had periods of time during both murders to commit the deed. And their alibis are weak. A visit to a family, and not one, but two shopping trips. Yeah. But, but, all are my employees. Alas, yes, my dear book. But we have no proof against any of them. None of the three appears to have any motive whatsoever. But this is a tragedy. No, Do not book. give up hope. We will catch this murderer. There is still one place that may hold the evidence we need. Where? Geneva. Exact. Oh. Do not give up hope. Well, that's easy for you to say. But what if it's Freya? What becomes of this? <laughs> if it's Otaru, who will cook? Me? At the worst. If it's Jean, who will serve the drinks? Folks, these are not the priorities. I've been checking up on the Banque du Lac. I had to confirm my identity for Interpol, so they contacted my captain at the Berkshire Police. I suspect he was not pleased. That my vacation was actually an unofficial investigation? I'll say. Mm -hmm. I would be happy to speak to him on your behalf. Thank you. But he'll get over it. It's a okay. chance to close the books on the Armstrong kidnapping. He stopped yelling, asked for a report, then granted me an extra week. Oh! Excellent. Nice! What did you learn from Interpol about the Banque du Lac? It's had a bad reputation for over a century. Customers have included the Mafia, Nazis, corporate swindlers of every description, uh, even heads of state. It is Nazis? Good. It is the worst kept Nazis. secret in banking. They take advantage of okay. the bank's strict policy of protecting the anonymity of its clients. This is in defiance of many laws from multiple countries, including Switzerland itself. Of course, I have never taken advantage of such a corrupt <laughs> system. That goes without saying, my friend. There are ongoing investigations, subpoenas, court orders. The bank will eventually have to comply or its assets may be seized. Ooh. But until then, it still thrives thanks to its wealthy and powerful clients. It sounds perfect for the late Monsieur Ratchet. Do you have any ideas? The serial numbers from some of the bills match those from the Armstrong kidnapping. Yeah, we, we agreed in Venice that the bulk of the money must still be physically in the bank's vault. I concur, Detective Locke. Exemplary work. Good job. So, our next task is clear. We need to get into Ratchet's safety deposit box. There will be codes, passwords, and puzzles. Monsieur Wadi would, of course, have known them all. The bag of money he carried is proof of that. We'll need to find information about Ratchet's box in Wadi's office at the bank. Most assuredly, but remember the secrecy involved. I doubt his office will contain all we need. Where else must we dig? Oh. Where can I find information on Ratchet's safety deposit box? Ask Mr. McQueen? No. Mr. Wadi's apartment? Internet? I don't think it's internet. Ratchet's diary? Could be it. Would it be Ratchet's diary? I do not think that's the If it's not Ratchet's diary, I think Mr. Wadi? Yeah, his apartment. I don't know, I just thought his diary, but maybe he, because he didn't want anything written down, that's why he didn't Mr. have it. Mr. Wadi couldn't keep all of his secrets at the bank. Hopefully we'll find something in his apartment. We already have his address, thanks to his passport, and his keys we retrieved from his body. The train Gosh. stops in Lausanne at 8 a.m. But that's far from Geneva. I can delay the departure until 11 a.m., no later. The police are expecting us in Paris by the end of the afternoon at the latest. They won't tolerate any delay. The bank doesn't open until nine. I can see only one way that gives us a chance to be on time. Uh, how to get to Geneva? Boat, taxi, boat! Boat's way faster. Traffic, no traffic. Ferries travel between Lausanne and Geneva, but it would take over three hours. We can't depend on finding a faster boat. Better to take a taxi and pray traffic is light. Okay, how to search the apartment and office efficiently? Separately! The best thing is to separate. One of us searches his apartment, the other searches his office. To access the I didn't think they were going to say box, ferry. We I thought they meant the like key, boat. The box number, like speed and the boat code. or a small Suppose houseboat. Suppose you find all this. How do you plan to get into the vault? How do we plan to get... How to access... Uh, impersonating Ratchet? That ain't gonna work. Search warrant. My captain suggested an international warrant to search the box. 
But the warrant would take days, and the bank would probably just laugh at it. We are going to use the bank's anonymity policy to our advantage. And the quickest way is for you to impersonate Ratchet. I would rather impersonate Jack the Ripper. Oh, bro. But in the interest of justice, I will do it. We need to find the account number. Along with everything else. I will say I want access to the vault. They don't ask for papers or even names. The vault information is enough. I'm not hearing any of wow. this. Wow. I run a trade company. I don't rob We're not banks. robbing. Perfect. Let's recap the plan. Oh my gosh. Okay, 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 okay. How funny. Um, find information on Ratchet Safe. Okay, go to Geneva by taxi. Separate. Um, search Waldy's apartment and office. Find information about Ratchet Safe. Meet up at the bank. Pretend to be Ratchet. Search Ratchet's safety deposit box. That's how you do it. That was easy. That was easy. I'm going to be to a murderer. Up, we're going by taxi to Geneva. Then we'll split up. You're going to search Mr. Wadi's apartment. I'll search the office at the bank. When we have all the information we need, you pretend to be Ratchet. And we can finally find out what Ratchet is keeping hidden in his safety deposit box. Yep, burns. impossible. Not for Detective Joanna Locke and, and Hercule Poirot. We should get some rest. You are right, Detective. We face our greatest challenge tomorrow. Together. Mm -hmm. Is that the end of the chapter? It is. Oh my gosh, we're three chapters away. So I guess next episode will be like the big one. I think I might do that as like a big episode. Or should I just split it up and it be like the final last chapter? I don't know. But fine, we're gonna get to some real, like, actual stuff off the train. Which honestly confuses me more. <laughs> I've been so used to the train, it's so straightforward because everyone's crammed into each other. Oh, exciting! Alright, but thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I am going on a trip very soon. I am posting this, I think, on the 17th. I am leaving Monday. Um, I, I do plan on editing and hopefully getting that video out of the final one of this. Um, so I just thank you for your patience. Thank you so much for watching and sticking around, watching till the end especially for some of you. I really do appreciate it. It means a lot to me. Thank you so much for being here. Can't wait to see what the next chapter holds. A lot of stuff is going down and it's all going down at once. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm really excited to get this over with. This has been a really, really, really fun game and I just can't wait to see what happens. Thank you guys so much for watching and being here, and I'll see you next time. Bye!